Round hay balers automatically roll hay into large bundles. They can also wrap the rolled hay in twine or plastic. This American invention allows farmers to put down their pitchforks and leave the work to the machines. The invention of the round baler was a farming breakthrough. Round bales of hay stay drier than square ones. Making a round hay baler starts with a computerized fiber optic laser. It cuts steel sheets into the shape of the side panels and makes holes for hardware and machine components. Once the cuts have been made, workers remove the leftover materials. They'll be recycled into new steel sheets. Next, the baler side panel goes to a computerized hydraulic folder. It bends the edges of the panel to prepare it for assembly. With the side panel clamped in a fixture, a worker slides bolts into a part called the doubler plate. This plate will be used to reinforce the panel. He welds the heads of the bolts to the doubler plate. The bolts protrude up so bearings and other parts can be attached later. He adds other reinforcing parts, supports for rollers, and a box for twine. Then it's over to the paint department. They prime and paint both sides of the panel with an epoxy finish in order to protect the steel from corrosion. After the paint dries, cranes lift two panels over to a fixture that holds several baler rollers. Workers insert the ends of the rollers into holes in the side panels. They add an auger for moving the hay away from the sides of the baler. They secure all of these components with bolts. Next, they install a belt tightening assembly. The bars will hold the hay shaping belts at the correct tension. After adding a bearing to the bottom feed roller, a worker installs sprockets. He also loops chains around them. The sprockets and chains will drive the 14 rollers in the baler. The next part is known as the hay pickup because its steel teeth lift hay from the field and into the baler. It fits on the front of the machine. Now, a worker installs the wheels. He brushes a lubricant onto spindles and inserts them in the wheel axles. Bolts secure the spindles to the axles. Then he mounts the wheels to the spindles and locks them in place with nuts. Once the two wheels are installed, a crane lifts the machine into an upright position in order to install the rear chamber. A crane lowers the rear chamber onto the baler assembly. As the hay is shaped with a round bale by the machine, it will gradually expand in this chamber. These rubber belts will roll the hay into round bales. The team loops them around tensioning rollers, arranging them closely together. A worker joins the ends of each belt by pushing steel pins through riveted lacing. An employee applies vinyl decals to the outside of the baler. The decals display the company name and the machine model in bold graphics. The machine is equipped with hydraulic cylinders so the rear chamber can be raised and lowered. A technician syncs the tractor cab monitor to sensors added to the baler during the assembly. The sensors indicate the position of the back gate, the status of the bale wrapping equipment, and the moisture level in the hay. After a complete operational check, this baler is ready to give farmers or ranchers a break by automatically creating round bales of hay.